I just want you to listen for a moment. Can you hear that? I hope so. There are so many songbirds here. It's an absolutely magical, magical place. You also hear maybe the drip of water off the fan shelter as the early morning frost is melting away in the warmth of the February sunshine. Yes, warmth of February sunshine. I'm sitting here in a t-shirt, and today I'm just going to let you look at that view. I'm sitting in a dream chair, parked in front of our van, on our land, looking at this view. I don't know if you can see how well you can see it, and a camera can never do justice to what your eyes and senses might pick up. It is basically us on a hill, a forest between and big hills to the back, which may or may not be the Spanish border. We're having some uh, discussion about this. Oh, I love this sound. Anyway. I can't sit here letting you listen to the noisy birds all day. What happened yesterday? Well, fascinating, fascinating day. I went to Agriloja, which is a large, um, well, it's 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 like a DIY shop. It's like a garden centre. Unbelievable. It was lovely. And I picked up all sorts of useful bits and pieces. Uh, a petrol can to mix my two-stroke in for my chainsaw and my strimmer. And, um, and what else did I get? Oh, yeah, I went to get two lemon trees. And I would have bought two lemon trees. And in fairness, I thought I had bought two lemon trees until I got them home and realised they were quince. I've never had a quince tree before. And now I have two of them because I wasn't going to take them back. If the quince had managed to leap off the shelf into my hands, they were going to get planted in the top field. And that is what I did. I spent yesterday afternoon just planting two trees. I have never, ever planted a tree before. And I hope that they take and that they survive. I followed the instructions and they're getting plenty of water just to start off. And we'll see. We'll see. And what else did we do yesterday? Well, we read a bit of a book that Kimberly bought. Kimberly bought me a present for Valentine's Day. She broke the cardinal rule. It was, it was very naughty. You know, we had a cardinal rule that we did not buy presents on Valentine's Day. And she's broken it. What do I do now? I feel very like Sheldon out of Big Bang Theory. Did you hear that? That's a car. It's probably one of only maybe six I'll see all day. Anyway, where was I? Yes, she bought me the most fantastic book. And um, um, and she broke the cardinal rule. We, we never buy presents. Now, what do I do? You know, Sheldon on Big Bang Theory has this thing about presents. If you buy me something, I have to buy you something of equal or better. And I kind of know where he's coming from on it. <sighs> what to do? What to do? I'll give that some thought. Um, what else did we do yesterday? Oh, I got some tax documents through, which I know nothing about, so we're investigating that. But the big thing was my reaction when I found out that the lemon trees weren't lemons. I was remarkably calm. That sort of little thing in the past would have sent me off on one, I think is the expression. I'd have got a little bit upset and a little bit angry with myself for getting it wrong etc etc and I didn't I just took the lemon tree uh, the quince trees and I planted them so now we're going to have a field it's going to have two orange trees which are already there and established two quince trees which we hope will be established and two lemon trees which I have yet to purchase the thing is now this is the thing and the thing is this 
There is no wrong. There is only learning and lessons and things that you can improve upon so that the next time you do it, you can do it even better. But things that are tough, the challenges, are there to help you to get to where you want to go to. So the question I have for you is, do you know where you want to go to? Write it down. Take some baby steps towards it. For us, it was sitting in our dream camper van on our dream plot of land, living a life that we could only dream about when we first brought it into consciousness. And now we do it. And you can do the same. Wouldn't that be something worth going for? Anyway, I hope this has brightened your morning. I hope you have most fantastic day and I'll be back on again tomorrow. Lots of love. Bye now.